Hi, I am Simon, welcome to Arts Life On. Today I'll show you how to make these totally awesome heating elements, hand warmers, coffee heaters, whatever you want to call them or use them for. I think they can be very useful. I made three versions. The first one has a rectangular shape, is the most efficient and is very comfortable to use between your hands. The other one has a very interesting shape and can be held in your fist. The last one has a circular shape and can be used to keep your tea warm or larger plates. But I'm sure that you probably have a hundred other ideas that these heaters can be used for. So comment down below and I will make a follow-up video featuring your best ideas. Alright, let's get started. Alright, let me do some clarification in case you want to make this. So I have the two lithium cells connected to a BMS and a BMS is a battery management system and it basically uh, shuts the power off whenever a battery cell runs too low of power and that's important because if the if one of these cells runs too low of power it could damage the battery. There's also a small chance that it will catch on fire. And then we have this small wiggly switch and that's important to have because the BMS is deactivated whenever a cell runs too low or we have a short circuit or we charge the battery. So you will have to activate the BMS in order to have current flow to the output wires and the output wires are connected to the P- and the P+. And uh, that's basically it for the wiring. The next step is to connect the PVM controller, so let's continue. Alright, the final step was to put the two slices together and merge them to only one plate. I smoothed out the edges and I think the end result was really quite nice. I connected the heating element to the PVM controller outputs and turned it on to the maximum power setting. 10 minutes later the clay hardened and reached a temperature of 100 degrees celsius or 212 fahrenheit. It's hot enough to instantly vaporize water into steam. Here you can see that once a cell reaches 2.95 volts, the BMS automatically shuts the power to protect the battery from draining completely. 
Let's head over to Fusion 360 because I didn't like the exposed wires and everything being quite fragile. So I designed and 3D printed this protective case. As I mentioned before, this is a very simple USB charger and I have the charging connector sticking out the bottom. All we have to do is connect the charger and plug it into a power bank or your computer and that will begin to charge. Uh, the charging time is roughly two, maybe even three hours. Uh, but the good thing is that we can still use our heating element just as normal and that will begin to heat up. Uh, but I'm curious to see for how long time we can power this thing, so let's do that next. To calculate the battery life, we have to measure the amperage at a specific temperature. After 1 minute and 40 seconds, it reached 50 degrees Celsius, which I would consider a comfortable temperature to hold between your hands. As we didn't want the temperature to rise anymore, I decreased the amperage to 0.5 amps or 500 milliamps. It was able to hold the temperature at 47 degrees Celsius. This means that the 2.6 amp hour battery would be able to run for 5.2 hours. That's the theoretical part so I think it's safe to say that it would have a true battery life of two maybe even up to three hours. I then continue to experiment with different shapes and length of cancelled wire to find the most efficient one but in the end the rectangular shape with 30 centimeters of cancelled wire performed the best. I realized when I was editing this video that I never made an outro, so thanks for watching, have a nice day, bye.